first player from the Hartford Twilight League to advance to Major League Baseball was Peter Lefty Nactenis. Nactenis was born in Aberdeen, Washington in 1914. Soon after his birth, the Nactenis family moved to Manchester, Connecticut. Pete Nactenis grew up to be a talented pitcher at Hartford Public High School, where he set a state record for strikeouts in a season. As a young pitching phenom, he dominated the Hartford Twilight League during the summer months. At 18 years old, Nactenis pitched for the Frederick Raft team in the summer of 1932. Then, the following summer, he pitched for the Mayflower Sales Team, champions of the Hartford Twilight League. Nactenis pitched a no-hitter in the 1933 championship series against Charlie Repass of the Home Circle Team, winning 4-0. In his second game of the day, Nactenis took to the mound again and beat a crosstown rival, Johnny Schoolboy Taylor, a hard-throwing right-hander from Buckley High School. Taylor, who later became a Negro League star, and Nactenis would become two of Hartford's greatest pitchers. The six-foot-one Pete Nactenis was highly sought after by professional teams, but he would take the advice of a Philadelphia athletic scout and attend college instead. After graduating from Duke University in 1936, he signed his first professional contract to pitch for Connie Mack and the Philadelphia Athletics. Nactenis made his major league debut for the Athletics that same year at age 22. He played in seven games and compiled a 0-1 record, allowing 24 hits and 26 runs with 18 strikeouts. However, Nactenis ended up spending most of his time in the minor leagues. In 1937, he competed in the New York Pennsylvania League, pitching for the Binghamton Triplets of the New York Yankees organization. The following year, he was signed by the Cincinnati Reds and pitched well for their minor league team, the Albany Senators of the Eastern League. Nactenis didn't compile eye-popping numbers, but he did make many memories. He was later quoted, I remember one time in 1936 when I was with the A's, I had my hair parted by a line shot off the bat of Joe Vosmick of the Cleveland Indians. The drive hit the button of my cap and the center fielder picked up the ball on one short hop, a little lower and it would have parted me in half. That was what you would call a narrow escape. Pete Nactenis. When his professional seasons were complete, Nactenis often returned to Hartford during the offseason and signed with the Savage Gems. The Gems were a semi-professional team led by their owner, Bill Savitt and player manager Jigger Farrell. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, Nactenis drew great crowds to Buckley Stadium for the Gems. The lefty made his first appearance for the Gems in Hartford on September 25, 1938. That day, he delivered a complete game performance versus the Philadelphia Color Giants, allowing just three hits and one earned run, leading the Savage Gems to victory. In 1939, the Southpaw from Connecticut logged three games in the big leagues with the Cincinnati Reds. While property of the Reds, Nactenis found more competitive opportunities with the Savage Gems. On September 24, 1939, he took the mound for the Gems against the Scranton Red Sox of the Eastern League. He outpitched Mickey Harris, and the Gems trounced Scranton by a score of 11-3. In 1940 and 41, Nactenis was a starter in the Reds organization with the Birmingham Barons of the Southern Association. His next minor league stop was with the 1942 Milwaukee Brewers, led by Bill Veek and Charlie Grimm, former big leaguers turned owners. During World War II, Nactenis returned home and gained employment at Colt Manufacturing to support the American war effort. He continued to pitch on a part-time basis for the Hartford Senators, choosing to throw solely in home games. In 1944, he led Hartford to an Eastern League pennant title. Nactenis retired after the 1945 season. He and his wife Kathleen became residents of Newington, Connecticut, where they raised three daughters. He continued to work in manufacturing and became president of Dean Machine Products in Manchester, Connecticut. Later in his life, Nactenis was inducted as a member of the Greater Hartford Twilight Baseball League Hall of Fame and the Hartford Public High School Hall of Fame. He eventually moved south to Singer Island, Florida in the 1980s. Peter Lefty Nactenis went to rest in eternal peace on August 1st, 2007.